Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to uh, the end of the weekend. Monday is upon, uh, happening tomorrow. Goodness. Got the start of the work week here tomorrow, 9.53 p.m. right now, California time, February 2nd, 2025 is the date. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe. Looks like uh, racking up the quakes here across the uh, Greece area once again, around that Colombo volcano, Santorini area. We'll check that out here in just a minute, but uh, man, that's a, a lot of earthquake activity. We're ramping up. Also some movement here at the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. It does look like uh, there's a quake coming into the Petrolia area. That's northern California right now. So let's go ahead and check out uh, northern California quakes first. Looks like a 2.8 earthquake here on the plate boundary. It's going to be the uh, Mendocino Fault Zone. Northern edge here of the San Andreas Fault. Nothing big going on out here for now. Um, a quick glance at the uh, trimmer. Let's pull up the Cascadia trimmer, see what we have. Uh, for today, only 20 epicenters. Not that big of a deal. Things calming down, but still getting some earthquake activity out here across Northern California. Nothing major going on there across the Pacific Northwest. Little 2.2 outside of the uh, Hoodsport area, Washington. 29 kilometers deep there. We're 29 miles deep, excuse me, associated with the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, the rest of California, as you can see, uh, fairly quiet. Not a whole lot of swarming, not a whole lot of big earthquake activity out here. Uh, 2.8 down there on the Elsinore Fault earlier this evening. But aside from that, uh, pretty quiet for now across California in terms of larger quake activity. Uh, Kansas area, seeing a little bit of movement. 2.5 and also the new Madrid Seismic Zone, a little 1.7 from this morning. A couple of smaller quakes out there in the eastern portion of the country from late last night and this morning as well. So let's go ahead and check out this area around the Greece area, the Sea of Crete. A lot of volcanoes out here and some big ones. The uh, Santorini area and the uh, Colombo region got a pretty big earthquake swarm going on with the latest quake, a 2.1. That uh, this is just very minimal activity compared to what is actually happening out there. If you look on the uh, map here, this is the last 24 hours here from the EMSC showing all the magnitudes. Look at that. That's just in the last 24 hours. In the last hour alone, we're starting to notice some broader scale earthquake activity out here in the purple circles. That could be a little concerning as we're looking at maybe uh, some type of uh, further migration across the area in terms of magma uh, underneath the region. So that's, you know, definitely got some potential out here for some volcanic activity. But that's a lot of earthquake activity just in the last 24 hours. Uh, in the last two days, obviously, that's going to bring up the uh, much bigger number. Here it is also on the uh, Volcano Discovery website. Same area. As you can see, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of movement out there happening right now. Um, and I think this may be leading up to something for sure. The number of earthquakes out here has increased, oh, I'd say, in the last three days or so. And it's only getting stronger uh, in terms of the uh, this earthquake swarm. Let's see here. And unfortunately, I mean, there's really nothing of change, right, in terms of the volcanic statuses out here. Uh, the Colombo volcano, where all this earthquake swarming is taking place there, is an underwater, um, you know, submarine volcano. It uh, uh, can see some big eruptions. The last violent eruption. Uh, was back in 1650, right? It can uh, produce some violent eruptions due to the uh, the magma and the seawater interaction. Explosive eruptions there, which would probably produce a tsunami. Um, no change there across the Santor uh, Santorini volcano. For now, that's at a one out of a five level. Again, most of the earthquake activity has been positioned to the northeast with some migration out here towards that specific area and that uh that can be some uh, that's a little bit bigger 
in terms of eruption potential. Uh, the last big one, my um, known eruption there, uh, was actually one of the largest uh, eruptions there in the last 10,000 years. Now, that was uh, 1613 B.C., so quite a few thousands of years have passed prior to the uh, last eruption. And uh, just, you know, just kind of keeping an eye on it. Really, uh, you know, it's it just one of those things we have to just watch closely. I'm sure uh, it's drawing some attention out there. Pretty obviously here on the uh, USGS map as well, but, you know, very noticeable on the Earthquake 3D Globe and also the EMSC model. That's just, that's hard to believe that that's just the last 24 hours of earthquake activity. And the key to watching this, right, I think is going to be the depth of these earthquakes, the multitude as well, but it looks like 5 kilometers for that, 35 kilometers, uh, 10. It's kind of been up and down with some super deep ones and some really shallow ones, so... Whatever's going on here is something uh, major uh, in the area. And, you know, worst case scenario, definitely uh, could see more of a, a larger scale event out here if it goes that way. So we'll watch that. That's definitely an area of interest right now. Uh, not a whole lot through the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, the largest magnitude here so far today Looks like it's going to be this 5.1 down along the Peru Chile Trench, 26 miles deep there, north of Santiago, Chile. Uh, aside from that, you know, the hot spot's going to be there across the Greece area. Uh, there's that movement up here across the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Looks, looks like it's just right on it. Uh, from earlier this afternoon outside the Queen Charlotte Sound region. Cascadia subduction zone begins right about here, the northern end. Nothing major going on here across the Aleutian Trench, the uh, western area here of the Pacific Plate. Looks uh, normal. Nothing major going on there. Typical clustering across the uh, Philippines area. New Zealand pretty quiet down there for now. But uh, what do we got? Another 4.2 coming in right there? That's 9-11. Uh, so just about an hour or so ago, local time, my time here. Trying to find some um, GPS stations there to see if there's any, you know, land rise across the area. And all the ones that uh, that I have access to here um, from the um, GPS network map, there's a lot of them. A lot of them are uh, working in operation here, but... A lot of them are offline as well. And pretty much all of these stations here around the Santorini area are offline from like 2016 or uh, even prior to that. So I, I can't, not for sure how to go about getting any type of information on this in terms of uh, inflation across the area. Uh, but if anyone out there has that information, let me know. Feel free to pass the information along here so we can uh, all be informed on this potential event that uh, could take place out here soon. Here's one from 2024. This this is way up there, though, away from that region. More concerned, you know, strictly with what's going on out here in that cluster of quakes. It's a big one. Um, let me go over here to the uh, map here and take a look at some of these depths that are taking uh, place here. The area of interest is going to be the 4.1, 4-pointer, uh, 4 the islands around the Greece area. Look at the uh, depth of these earthquakes. Um, 5, 12, 35 kilometers, um, 10, 17 I mean, they're all over the place here. So what is whatever's going on here is, uh, look at that, 146 kilometers underneath that area. Something big is brewing out here. So that's why I want to watch this pretty closely. 
might be some type of spectacular event. And then again, maybe it might just die, day, uh, die away. I doubt it, though. All right. Uh, one of the latest quakes here across the Vanuatu area, 4.7. Pretty deep earthquake there. 125 miles deep. Space weather. Things are ramping up out here across that little sunspot. 3981 here has been growing in the last couple days. Uh, while all these other sunspots are pretty much um, out of uh, out of energy, so to speak. So 3981 is the culprit here of some decent M-flare activity in the last couple hours. I'll show you guys on the uh, X-ray flux chart if it's going to work, which I believe it is. Yep. Uh, near X-flare in the last couple hours, an M8. Uh, looks like it's an 8.88. Followed up here by another M flare. No stair stepping ladder event indicating the complexity and the unstableness there of that sunspot. Currently flaring right now as well. Back over here. That uh, is growing and it does have potential to produce maybe an M or uh, X flare. So we've got to watch that. 15% chance for X flare activity. M flare is 60. And that sunspot is to, oh, just about directly facing Earth. 3981 taking front and center stage out here looking uh, pretty fancy no major roars out there in the forecast for now and there's a number of the m flares here with the associated sunspot 39.81 m 8.8 .8, beautiful sun uh, solar flare all right uh weather outlook here got um little break in the rain here across Northern California, at least where I'm at in that little rain shadow. Uh, we do have a bigger storm system set to impact the area Monday night into Tuesday. And then uh, some more behind that. Very impressive rainfall totals here for California. And uh, that's okay by me. I picked up just about, uh, just over an inch here in the last couple days from the storm system. We're expecting uh, a couple more inches from uh, these next series of storms there. Look at that. Just couple decent uh, hits there from these strong Pacific storms after that uh, well you know I don't think a lot of people want to hear it but those folks that experienced some snow and cold temperatures out here uh, a week or so ago across the uh, southern plains of the Gulf Coast states there might get a little taste there a couple different times um, this one here towards the, uh, let's see here, it looks like the 18th, 17th of February shows a massive cool pull coming down in uh, across the majority of the country with snow and ice out there across Texas, maybe Louisiana, uh, Arkansas, man. So winter, winter is uh, holding on strong out there. Unfortunately, when this pattern takes place, we go dry out here, which we've been for the majority of January. So I'm, I'd be okay if this changes and we could return to troughing out along the West Coast. I'm okay with that. All right, seismograph stations out there. Pretty quiet for now. We'll continue to watch things. Of course, keep a watchful eye out there around the uh, Santorini area and the uh, Colombo volcano, underwater uh, volcano there, submarine volcano. I think it's got some noteworthy uh, potential out there. Hopefully, nothing you know bad happens. But with that type of event, you know, at a uh, a volcano, that's that's an eye opener for sure. All right, folks, we'll catch you guys back out here in the morning, Monday morning update. Have a good night. Stay safe out there.